good evening and welcome to my channel today i'm going to be showing you guys how to make nigerian buns so right here i have my flour and i'm going to put my um baking powder basically and i just mix it together really well and this is optional for some people but i like to use nutmeg i just like the smell of nutmeg in my food in my baked food basically and I keep mixing it together miss 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 don't be afraid to get your hands dirty I don't want to get my hands dirty that's why I'm using this uh, stick all right I put my sugar in there so, there's a lot of sugar but I like my bone sweet and I have little kids they like their bone sweet so. I'm not a big measurement person. I just um, look how, how much I need and I just put it in. So I put a little, a little more. Okay. Okay. Now that I'm all done with the dry, dry ingredients, I'm going to add my beet egg, my egg that I already beat. I'm going to add it in there. Keep missing. So if you don't like, um, if you don't mind your hands getting dirty, you can just use your hand and mix it really good together. So and uh, I go ahead and add uh, my milk in there. missing okay. all right guys you, you can still see that um, my ingredients is not uh, moist enough uh, so I'm going to add this stage I'm going to add a little water to my uh, my flour so you can see that I put a stick the tonic stick down and started using my hand because that wasn't cutting it either so like I said, if you don't mind getting your hand dirty, this is um, this will be really a good snack to eat. Yeah. So, guys, after adding enough water, this is what it looks like. It came up to a big dough. And I can cut it like I want for frying. All right, my oil is ready. Yeah. Okay, guys, my oil is hot enough. And for the frying part, part, uh, part you will need a a spoon that it can the oil can sieve through. And I'm using a spoon because um, I like to have like an exact uh, size of bones. So I just put in the oil like that, and you guys can see. It's already frying. Be careful not to burn yourself. That is very important. So this is a great Nigerian snack if you're having a Nigeria party or you have little kids or big kids. Our friends, you know, and you can just uh, give them these buns, and you actually let it sit in the fire until it turns golden brown. When it's golden brown, you know it's done. All right, guys, and when your buns is golden brown like this, like you see, it, you know it is done. So you go ahead and put them in your rack. That's optional also, you don't have to go buy a rack if you don't have a rack. You can just put them in a plate with a paper towel on top of it and let it sieve the oil. Let the oil sieve. And uh, you just put them over there. And your buns is ready for consumption. Eating, basically. Alright. 
and here you go guys this is the final product of uh, nigerian buns look at it it's golden brown that's how you know it's done enjoy your nigerian snack here you go good night and stay blessed bye bye